In order to create Silverlight applications and ASP.NET website applications, you need to have Visual Studio. If you are employed as a developer and have Visual, the full version of Visual Studio at work, then you will be able to create those applications, those projects with the full version of Visual Studio. But if you don't, you can download the free version, which is for all of our purposes in this video training, more than enough. And in this lesson, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Go with your browser to microsoft.com slash express. And if you scroll down the page, you'll see a box that says web, click the learn more button. And on the right side, it says install. And you'll need to save a install file, do right click open and run. And then it's going to say here, that it needs to have permission. I'm on Windows 7 here, but the experience should be pretty much the same on any Windows version from XP or in any browser. Then you wanna scroll down here to Tools. Go ahead and click on Customize so you can see what you're installing. You want Visual Web Developer 2000 Express. You'll want the WCF RIA Services Toolkit. This is some additions which make data access in Silverlight very easy. You'll enjoy that. That'll make your life as a coder quite easier than doing it the way you had to do it before. You'll see about that later. And Silverlight 4 Toolkit you need and Silverlight 4 Tools for Visual Studio 2010. Then just say Install. And it's going to then show you everything that it needs to install what you chose to install. And for instance, we see that it's going to install the Microsoft.NET Framework 4. Now, all of this is being taken care of for you, which a couple of years ago, you had to install this all by yourself, and it was uh, much more difficult. So all you have to do is say, I accept these days, and it will install for, could be, depending on the speed of your CPU, depending on your internet connection, could be 20 minutes, could be an hour, but you can go ahead and go get yourself a cup of coffee or go to the store or do whatever you want for a half hour or an hour and come back and everything will be installed, which as I mentioned is much better than a couple years ago. They really did a good job on this installer. So we're going to wait for this to install and I'll be right back. So my installation was successful. I hope yours was too. If you had any problems, if something didn't install on your computer or on your particular operating system, one of the best places on the web to go to ask a question about something like this is stackoverflow.com. Just go there, sign up. I mean, if you're a programmer, you wanna know about the site and have it bookmarked and um, ask questions there, you'll get very speedy answers. As you can see here, questions have been asked seconds ago and are being answered pretty much just as fast. Go ahead and just post a question there about your installation and you should get that cleared up promptly. So now that we have our software installed, let's start it and see if it works. You will find Visual Web Developer in the Start menu here. And if you click on Microsoft Visual Web Developer, it will start. The first time you start it, it should take about 10 seconds or so. But in any case, you can click here on New Project. We'll make a little Silverlight application just to see that it works. Go ahead and click on Silverlight application and accept all the defaults. Click on OK. Let's make a very simple Silverlight application without the website. Make sure you have Silverlight 4, which is very nice because just a couple years ago with Visual Studio 2008 to install Silverlight 4 was quite a hassle. Now it's become very easy. And it's so easy that you can just now, for instance, click on Toolbox, drag a label in, change the label to text or test, and click on Debug. And you have a Silverlight 4 application. Let's reflect on what's installed here. We have a Visual Web Developer installed. And to do that, the installer had to install the .NET 4 framework and C Sharp 4 language, which is what you'll be learning in this video training. And with this tool, you can create ASP.NET websites and Silverlight applications. And what I'm gonna show you in the upcoming lessons is how to make different kinds of Silverlight applications and different kinds of ASP.NET web applications.